Now this is a good lens, not a great or terrible lens, but a good lens. I've been using this lens with the OM-1 for about six months now, and it is a fantastic combination. I use it while kayaking because of its size, weight, and focal length. And I use it for photographing easily startled birds at long distances, such as migratory shorebirds. In these situations, it's great, but let's not mention any low light performance. So this is a lens with a crazy focal length. On a full frame, it would be a 200 to 800 equivalent, which is just nuts. Pair it with a teleconverter such as the MC 1.4 and you can have a focal length of 140 to 560 millimeters or 280 to 1120 millimeters full frame equivalent, which is crazy. As expected for a micro four thirds lens, it is lightweight and compact. On the side here is the focus switch button, the focus limiter and the stabilization switch. One thing I miss from other Olympus lenses is a manual focus clutch, but the switch does enough. Autofocus is what you'd expect when paired with the OM-1. It's great. It's fast, locks on, and tracks really well. I've gotten about a 95% hit rate in photo mode, which makes it really fun and a joy to use. I've only found a bit of weird focus jitters in video mode. Now, the situations here weren't the kindest long range shooting on smallish moving subjects, but it held up okay. Probably a 70% hit rate here. This could be a camera setting and I'm not an OM-1 power user, so it could be user error. I haven't noticed any focus breathing and the focus snaps on very quickly and stays locked. Also, one good thing when pairing it with a teleconverter is it doesn't impact the autofocus speed at all. Well, I didn't notice any slowdown. It's still fast and tracked really well. For manual focusing, the focus ring is easy to turn and quite precise to use. This lens is best at 100 to 300 millimeters. After that, it tends to drop off a little bit, making images not that sharp. Still good, but there's a little change in the quality. I've been impressed with the sharpness at 100 to 300, but let's be honest, you don't get this lens to stay at 300 mil, which makes being at 400 mil a little bit of a disappointment. There's something about the images that come out of this lens that don't really wow me that much. I don't know what it is, if it's the colors or the sharpness. They're okay, but not as good as the Olympus 400 to 150 f2.8. I know it's comparing a pro lens to a non-pro lens, but it's a bit of a bummer. Overall, image quality doesn't seem to be affected with a teleconverter though. I only used the MC14, but didn't notice any change with it on or off, which is pretty good. Now, this is a slow lens, which isn't that bad of a deal for a telephoto lens. However, I feel that the camera system is holding it back at times. See, if you find yourself in a bad lighting situation, there is the temptation to push your ISO, especially if you want birds in flight, nice and sharp with a fast shutter speed. Micro Four Thirds cameras just aren't that great in low light. Now, this isn't a bash on Micro Four Thirds. I still use these cameras professionally in different situations, but they can hamper the things that you're trying to do. In perfect lighting, this lens is an absolute beast paired with the OM-1. And as I said, I use it while kayaking and love the results I can get in great light. But when it's blue hour, well, it's a different story. The 100 to 400 is a tricky lens to use at times, but the versatility of its focal length, its minimal size and weight, and when paired with the OM-1's autofocus, sometimes feels like cheating, which definitely makes up for any downsides. It's small and effective, but it struggles in certain situations which only leads to heartbreak and swear words. If you were dedicated to shooting wildlife on Micro Four Thirds, I'd suggest maybe giving the 300mm f4 a go. It's a pro lens, has a better image quality, and would be better in low light. In a perfect world and a fat wallet, getting both lenses would soothe all your ruffled feathers. But overall, I'd recommend the 100 to 400 lens if you want that insane reach and a small size. What it does, it does well, but just be aware of your lighting conditions. So there you go, the Olympus 100 to 400. Not great, not terrible. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.